It's an extraordinary ecosystem. And we're focused on the Gulf of Maine, which you know spans from the coast of Maine out to Georgia's bank. Inside this Gulf of Maine Research Institute, the focus itself is expansive. An acclaimed scientific research center, its efforts also include extensive work with the public through education and community outreach. We do lecture series, we do uh, newsletters, we do video clips. Don Perkins has run this institute for 23 years. So in the, in the course of a day, we have scientists returning from trips at sea or trips far away. We have students. We, the other thing that's going on here is we've got fishermen coming in with, with questions that have occurred to them when they've been out on the water. Touting itself as nonpartisan and privately funded. We're not government, we're not industry, we're not the environmental community. We, we stand in the middle. Of that position, Perkins says, better allows the Institute to fulfill its aim of studying and protecting the Gulf through a collaboration of talents on the water. Our, our vision here was let, let's bring fishermen and scientists together. Um, they, they each have unique skills, they make great partners. While working to solve today's issues, the Institute has its eyes on tomorrow as well. Each year, hosting some 10,000 of the state's middle school students, allowing them a rare hands-on lab session, which hope is might just inspire that future scientist. And our aspiration is, is to provide Maine students with the opportunity to to get excited about science, to become technologically adept, and over the long haul for both kids as individuals and for the state as a whole to be highly competitive in a, in a global economy. The Gulf of Maine continues to be the lifeblood of New England's fishing industry, but research shows there are considerable concerns, including rapidly warming waters. The issues are complicated, but through all that's happening inside here, the Gulf of Maine Research Institute hopes we can better comprehend. It's hard for the public to understand the Gulf of Maine, and, and we stand as, a, as an interface, a lens through which the public can get a sense of what's happening out there.